Hey guys, uh, Chavez here with uh, Discount Towing Collision out of Albuquerque, New Mexico. Uh, I uh, recently found a guy on uh, YouTube named, uh, well his uh, screen name is Repo Nut, Matt Pittman. Uh, really, really, uh, from what I've seen of his videos, really good guy, really knows his stuff. and. I highly recommend watching his videos. Uh, I've learned things that I never thought about by watching him or new strategies, new tactics and stuff like that. Uh, so I wanted to kind of make another video. Hopefully somebody uh, out there can see the way I do things and maybe get an idea or two or help them out. Uh, right now I'm on my way to dry time. I'm going to go pick up a car if we can do a transport for it, whatever. Uh, the truck that I run is a uh, 08 Sterling Bullet. It's got a uh, good old four door cab, so I got lots of room. Kind of wish I had a tunnel box sometimes, though, but it is what it is. Um, that I have is a uh, Renegade, good old twin line uh, auto loader. Freaking love the hell out of it, man. I got my uh, in cab remote right there. Freaking makes life so much easier. Uh, I can clear scenes with it really rapidly. The only one downside to it is uh, that I've been able to find is I can't do a full 90 degree uh, freaking uh, pull out with the stinger. It just it can't go that far. Not far from it, but it's not quite that far. Uh, one thing I do like about the bed a lot is it is heavy as shit. And I can do quite a bit. Uh, or heavy loads with it, and that helps out a lot. Uh, I've towed one of our international, uh, we have an international flatbed, uh, but I've I've towed that with with this truck before. Uh, <laughs> sketchy as shit, not something I'd ever want to do again. But if I have to, then I know I can. But anyway, I'm gonna go and stop the video for now, and now whenever I get there, I'll show you guys what's up. All right, so we're back. Made it over to drive time. So I'm going to show you my truck a little bit. Uh, got the good old Sterling, not a Dodge, but Sterling badge there. I hate Dodge. Uh, all my light controls are right there. I uh, put in an extra in-dash uh, freaking light right there just to kind of help me out, get traffic out of my way. It's white in the strobes and it's LED so it's bright as shit. Got my controller right here. I freaking love the hell out of that thing. Uh, and right there's my PTO switch. Uh, the eyes used to light up red, but for some reason they don't anymore. Uh, whatever. And this is my truck. Dollies. That's kind of a mess right now. We've done APD rotation this week, so I haven't had as much time as I need to to clean it. <sighs> this thing's kind of cool. Freaking right here, you got these uh, small blocks you can take on and put off. Uh, the small blocks are put on for uh, passenger size vehicles, passenger tires, anything bigger than that. You know, your trucks, SUVs, crossovers, you gotta take those off. Got my freaking TM22. That thing's freaking awesome. Saves so much time. Don't gotta worry about busting wires anymore. And then dolly set up. This is the way I got the truck. Not exactly what I had what I wanted personally, but I would have done a little bit different. But what it is, what it is. Uh, that's my truck. I'll show you the loading here in a little bit. All right. So apparently, this freaking journey I'm supposed to pick up. As the head guys get it's blown so bad that the engine will not make any compression or will not keep any compression. So I can't even get the fucking thing started. So I do it the old fashioned way.
Nailed it. Put my gloves on. Alright, here, I'll show you my backup camera. It's really cool. Right there. That's it. Alright, so you can see. My truck has the valve as a leak for some reason. But we replaced it twice and it still does it, so I gotta put these chains on the claws like this. Uh, yeah, that'll work. It's really hard to do with one hand. Tomate. I'm gonna do this little cycle where it's first initial like, initializing or whatever word is I'm trying to use. I can't figure out. There you go. Still on there like that. Now other chain. Yeah. Yeah. I said about taking the small blocks off, but you don't always have to. Let's use your better judgment. All right, so this is what I wanted to show you. I'm gonna bring up the stinger to a high angle like that. The reason why I do that. Now I can take the safety chain. Go over the A arm. Underneath. Hook it. Get that some slack out. Hook it in right there, just like that. Do that. Both sides. Obviously when you're raising you don't want to freaking let the ass slam on the ground. Fuck up the bumper. So, loosey goosey, I can hold shit. I call that curb level. But now, when we go back in, uh, that's tight as shit. It's not gonna go anywhere. The hook's bent for me doing this, but that actually kind of works in my favor because if I try to take a turn and there's not enough slack on the chains, then the chain will pop out. But with how it is, it won't pop out unless I do that. So it actually kind of works in my favor. Keeps the car on the lift. Now, one bad thing about doing it this way, you gotta have the chains out as far as you can, barely touch it up and barely off the ground. And having it this far out, kinda takes away some of your turning radius, but, like I said, yeah, you know, doing it like this, it's fast, it's reliable, it's better than straps, you're not gonna wear out your straps. I go through straps like fucking crazy. Uh, but, uh, you know, I mean, you know, save your straps, you know, those are going to last longer because you're not using them. You're using the chains. The chains are going to be there forever. You have to replace a hook or two within a couple years, but, you know, it's a small price to pay over going through a freaking set of, uh, going through a set of chains every, or going through a set of straps every month, like I was. All right, so that's that. I'm going to go ahead and uh, let you guys go. Thanks for watching.